Hello everybody, this is 7-Note Mode. I'm going to do a tutorial on Tenderly today. I'm going to do it in two different ways. The first thing I'm going to do is to go through the head of it uh, in a way that's very similar to how I played it on the video and uh, just talk my way through it. Then the second way I'm going to do it is uh, with a transcript I did that has the melody, the chords, and some basic left hand comping. Uh, you can find that on the website, but it, it will also be at the top of the screen. So uh, I'm going to talk my way through that because it, it illustrates some issues in, in playing jazz. Um, first thing I'm going to do is for, this is more for people who don't sight read. So I'll go through it this way first, and then I'll go through it on the transcript. Um, it's in E flat major. At least that's the way I play it, okay? It's nice to kind of go through the chords and see what's there. Just familiarize yourself with the key, okay? Just kind of see what it looks like and sounds like. Uh, I start out in unison, okay? So that's your first little range, raise. Okay, that's an E flat, B flat, and then an F G with a thumb, B flat and a D. It's an E flat major seven. Rest. Okay. It's an A flat seven with a flat five. And a thirteen or six. So That's your next one. Okay. Raise up. So G flat, B, D flat, F. Okay. Uh, two things. I'm not using the pedal. I haven't used the pedal yet. And this is an E flat Dorian. You might want to do a little voice leading. This is louder than this, if you hear that. So, so we got grace note. Hear how this is softer than the the melody build. This is an A flat seven with a flat five, a thirteen, and a minus nine. Okay. Linkages. This is F minor seven. F E flat. You're holding the you're holding the G's. Do that. Hold them. Soft. Okay, that's E flat, B, B flat. Okay, this little thing is a Bill Evans thing. He does these, it's basically an E flat diminished to an E flat major. It's a one diminished to a one major seven, okay? But um, again, this is kind of a question answer thing. The question. The answer. Okay. Question. The answer. Echo.
that is a variation on E flat diminished. That is an A flat minor seven. So you're just going. Now we could go again, but we just did that. So let's switch it up. The first time. What is that? A flat minor. That's a B7, B flat seven. This is an Art Tatum uh, riff. You're basically going to B flat seven, but first you go up a half step to B minor seven, E seven, B flat minor, E flat seven. So you're basically going, okay. That's a B minor seven. That's really, believe it or not, that's a, um, that's an E seven or it's serving as that, even though I don't have the third in it, third in it. Now that is a uh, B diminish. That's a C minor seven or C stacked fourth. Okay, let's do that again. Don't want to do that. It's repetitive, so. That's an A flat minor seven. B minor seven, E seven. That is a B diminish, C minor seven. That's just a little, little filigree there. Now this should be F minor seven to B flat seven, but what we're going to do another Art Tatum thing. So see, instead of going to, from the two to the five to the one, which is F minor seven, B flat seven, one, we're gonna do, go up half a step, F sharp minor seven. Gotta think here for a second. <laughs> okay. B7, F minor 7, B flat 7, or you could use the E7, which is the tritone. So, so you're going, those are the chord centers. I'm just walking to give it uh, more movement. Uh, one, one principle in this is that you got to get out of your own way. You cannot hold this. If you hold this and play the, the um, sub here of the F, not good, okay? It's, it's, it's dissonant. But if you play it to memory, and you eventually get there, then it works. Cut it off. Okay. Back to that. Same thing. Now I'm not going to do this again. Okay, we're going to go to make it a little bit more um, 
modern. Let's add some. Okay, this is stack fourths. Really what we're playing here is a E flat minor seven. That's all E flat minor seven. See, this is E flat minor seven. See, it's all in there, so. And that's an A flat seven, so. Okay. Got it? So. This is good for articulation because you're punching it. It's, it's, um, up. See, so the let up, when you let up, 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 up. So I'm paying attention to when the note ends because that rhythmically propels uh, the play. So anyway, we did the, we did it same way. That is, see, that's an A flat seven. You have the seventh, the third, and then that's actually a thirteenth, a ninth, and a plus eleven in there. It's also a B flat major on top of. See where it's a B flat major on top of an A flat seven. I forget what we did last time with this. Let me see, did we do this? Um, I tell you what, let me do it two ways because I forget which way we did it. This is an A flat minor seven to a D seven. I know we did that. That is the um, diminished back to the major. Well, let's do that again. A flat mi um, minor seven. That's just a run based on. Um, E flat seven. It'll also work with a tritone, which is a G seven. Um, let me say something about this run. If you try to do it one finger at a time, it'll be very difficult. It'll go, you know, one two three four, one two three four, one two three four, one two three four, one two three. It gets tiring to your hand. Um, what I do is. That's one movement. See that? See? It's one movement. That's one movement. So you clump them together, or you, you gang things together, and you almost make it like an effortless wave. So it's coming from the shoulder. It's not coming from the fingers at all. So. Okay, it's just a little bit of technique there. Usually the harder something is, the more relaxed you should be when you play it. So don't worry about getting speed with this. It works just as well doing slow.